got one of my favorite comments so far at the channel recently where a guy uh, was looking at the Easter bunny, the chocolate bunnies. I can't remember how to say it in German. It was something like, no, no, I'm not even going to do it. I was going to say Schokenhausen or something like that. But no, 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 no. Park all that German and stuff like that. But the comment was that this guy said, you know, thanks for showing me this. I had no idea this is not coming. It's on nobody's radar in North America. So uh, great to be able to see that shoot your channel give me insight into what's coming up uh you know down the road which i didn't know about uh, and then you know maybe go out and grab that shoe which is so i just love to hear that because that means my channel's got a point that people are out there sort of you know getting worth from it getting value from it uh, and then a few days ago we had the uh the first time in ages going outside and uh, shooting video outside not only that in the sneaker area of tokyo so it was a brilliant uh video to do for you guys so happy to see stuff like that going on at the channel and then today here we've got another adidas and there are some massive Massive questions for it. The two biggest questions that I'm going for in this video are why is this not a ZX? Why it's an A ZX? Not just ZX, but A ZX. And then the other part of that is why is it 8,500? And most of the ZX lines come with three zeros on it 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, that kind of thing. But here we have one that sits right between the 8,000 and the 9,000, the 8,500. That's unusual and rare. And I'll be answering both of those questions in today's video and also bringing you the hits on the shoe and showing you why this is a great shoe with that extra little hit on there, which really is true to the story of the shoe because it's all. All about graffiti, streetwear and sneakers getting wrapped into one big shoe. So we'll get into all of that today as we take a close up look at the upcoming release of the Adidas, I can't even say it right, of the Adidas 8 ZX 8500 Overkill. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Secret Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 Secret Channel Days. My name is Jop Suno, they're my Chibitiko sign. Every single day I bring you content from Tokyo, Japan about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And yes, Tokyo, Japan. I was out in Street uh, Sneakerville, a um, place called Harajuku here in Tokyo. It's uh, just everywhere you turn, there's tons of sneaker stores. There's even a new Atmos store there, which is called Atmos Mart, where they're turning sneakers and uh, sneaker stores into an actual convenience store style. Can't wait for that to be finished to see what a convenience store sneaker uh, place looks like but uh, it's a great place a little little sort of area that's all about sneakers and streetwear and stuff like that and this brand and this boutique from Berlin overkill or okay which is very important because we'll get to that later in the video would fit in beautifully down there now I went over and I checked out the overkill website had a look at what you know I tried to find out about the store about the background and stuff like that Berlin Germany that'll be a factor in the, this video as well because we have to talk about the concrete uh, hits on this shoe uh, because of the concrete that's there in, in Berlin uh, but parking that the actual uh, store and the 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 brand itself overkill or okay um, is uh, it's amazing and and what they said on their website really just I loved it I thought it was so pure so honest so just in your face this is what it is if you don't like it go somewhere else and uh, what it said was that this is the the one address for graffiti streetwear and sneakers and I was like okay you know, you're, you're telling us exactly what you do and then you can bring us a collaboration like this uh, which is definitely all about the graffiti and all about the streetwear and all about the sneakers. So it's all wrapped into this one shoe here and um, we'll talk about that right now. So first things first, uh, A2ZX is what they're going for and what they're actually going for is you have to split that into two parts. So the ZX part is the name of the shoe and it's the line that Adidas, like I said, ZX 4000s, 6000s, 8000s and so on. Um, but if you, you take that ZX as being the brand of the shoe or the silhouette of the shoe uh, and then just the z from that forget about the x for now it's a to z that's the point now americans out there please don't hammer me for calling it z uh, i have some american friends here in japan who are like it's not z it's z do you call him jz is it zz top no i know that's not what you say in other countries but you know what i'm british we say z hopefully you can get over that so it's uh, a to z is the idea uh, and what they're doing is they're bringing out 26 shoes from the zx line uh, with a total different themes and different story in each one of them and apparently this one represents O which I think is about the 14th letter of the alphabet somewhere there or thereabouts so there's another 25 shoes in this A to Z X line at Adidas so that's why it's got that A hyphen ZX at the start A to Z 
X there. And then you've got the 8,500 part of it and you're like, whoa, what's going on there? Why is that happening? That's all about the overkill guys. That's nothing to do with Adidas. That's the overkill guys designing their own shoe, making a collaboration. And what they've done is they've taken the 8,000s and the 9,000s, crashed them together into a hybrid shoe. So if you're hybrid in those two, where's the midpoint? And the midpoint is 8,500. So that's why it's called the A to Z X. 8,500. There's the two questions at the top of the video already answered for you guys out there. Uh, and then we get into the shoe itself and talk about what's going on with that. And um, what I want to do is I want to look at the construction, which is all about the colors and the materials, and then uh, the branding and the hits on there. So uh, construction wise, if we look at it from the lateral side, you can see there's basically two things going on with the shoe. Part one is towards the front end and the lower end of the midfoot area. You can see there's a whole lot of gray going on. And that goes back to what I was talking about before with Berlin and representing the concrete there. But the idea is not just that that represents concrete, the rest of the shoe in those flashy neon bright graffiti colors are the graffiti that's painted on that concrete so you need that dull gray you need that front half of the shoe in the gray to be the uh, the base of the graffiti what would we call this if it was art it's uh oh, there's a word for it what artists draw on like when they paint a picture on a canvas that's the word i'm looking for it's a gray canvas of concrete uh, down below and up front that you need it there to build your graffiti on and spray your graffiti on and have your graffiti designed on there so if you see that on the lateral side there's a whole heap going on on there including the three stripe branding now what's really interested and I'm going to wait just a second but we'll get to it in a moment but as the medial side is less busy in terms of construction no less busy in terms of color and design and stuff like that but there's just it seems plainer even though there's a ton of color going on boing and it looks like that you can see that the medial side is less busy than the lateral side now this on its own would be a wild sneaker but when you've already seen the lateral side and you're kind of like whoa then when you come to this side it's like oh okay they've pulled it down a little bit there their choice can't really complain about it can i um and then uh, other things to look at on the shoe so you've got that you know the colors going on on there there's some really interesting and stuff going on with the hits uh, and I've got a couple of pictures here one is the aglets at the end of the laces and you can see they have certain designs on there um, to uh, represent you know, there's a little bit of extra in the aglets and I love it when people play around with the aglets and give us a little bit more on there because it's easy to be simple there so adding a little bit very big yes for me and then also this here is the dubrays you can see you can uh, tr churn out the dubrays and have different dubrays at the bottom of the lacing system uh, and both of those the aglets and the dubrays sport a lot of different um branding on there to do with torsion to do with adidas and to do with okay or overkill uh, whichever way you look at that and speaking of branding we might as well go all the way up to the tongue and have a look at the top of the tongue you see a very red branding panel up there and if i remember rightly it's red adidas branding on the red panel but sprayed over the top of it you've got that okay for overkill that graffiti motif again and we won't look into the insoles too long because we can actually look at the insoles because they've been pulled out for us in this picture here and you can see uh, the branding again on the inside and that okay motif again on there and then if you go around to the back too you see the uh, i think it's a triangle if i remember rightly um of branding on the back of these guys uh, to sort of complete that and then the final real thing that we want to go have a look at is we're going to have a look at the outsoles and see what's going on there of course there's plenty going on there but if you're my age which is 44 i know i look older but i'm just 44 that means that i was you know just getting into fashion and in the early 90s and in the early 90s this torsion bar was absolutely fire it was yellow back then and i don't remember it ever being anything other than yellow but these days it comes in a lot of colors including on here we use a bit, bit more about the volts or the greens or the neons than the yellows in these ones but you've also got a couple of hits of branding at either end of that torsion bar on there so it's a, a couple of really nice features to finish off the bottom half of this shoe so uh back out looking at the whole thing i think i've pretty much covered everything there is to say about this guy Uh, I'm sure there's probably other branding hits and uh, you know construction stuff going on and things that people could bring um, to it and tell us all about it in the comments down below if there's more about this shoe but also if there are people out there who just don't know this is coming down the line and they find that out from this channel I'd be super grateful to hear that in the comments down below. 
too. For now, though, it's time for me just to wrap this video up. It's uh, another video in the bag. Like I said, daily content every single day from Tokyo, Japan. And that includes weekends seven days a week. And I think we're round about day 850 of non-stop content. Haven't missed a single day in more than two years. And we're hoping to get to that 1,000 day mark uh, and beyond. So great times at the channel. Very happy to bring you this kind of content. Uh, time just to wrap it up. Thank you guys for checking out the content. And I'll just say the thing that I see at the end of every single video. Which I do this every single day. And that means you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.